Welcome to Picture Healer Channel. Today we want to talk about lighting and feng shui. Lighting is one of the easiest way to bring energy to a space. We tend to forget about lighting because we are so used to our environment and you cannot really touch light. But if we can set up lighting properly, everything will look prettier and it can put you in a better mood. Now let's look at different types of lights. There are two basic types, natural and man-made. The natural light can be from the sunlight or the fire or candle light. And we are focusing more about the artificial light or electric light. And there are basically two components. There is a light fixture and a light bulb. The light bulb or the lamp inside the fixture is the one that decides the color and also the wattage. So by choosing the correct light bulb, we can change the color temperature and the brightness of the light. Every light bulb has its own color temperature. You can look at the fine print when you are buying the lamp in the hardware store, or sometimes they just give you a very general description such as warm, cool, or daylight. Here is the color temperature chart to give you more ideas. The color temperature can be from 1000K to 10000K. Most of the lamps are around 2700K to around 7000K. So if you are looking for the correct color temperature, you can check the Kelvin number, usually around the package in a small fine print. And the most common one is the incandescent, the old fashioned light bulb. That's around 2700 or 2800K. And for halogen, it's a little bit brighter. That's around 3000K. So those lamps are on the warmer side and you will be more yellow. And this is just for a reference. So if you want warmer light, go with the lower color temperature. For example, the candle light is around 1900K and that is very yellow or close to red. The most popular lamp right now are LED light and the fluorescent light. And um, the color can range widely. Most of them start from 3000K up to 7000K. You can get specialty lamps for the growth of plants or fish tank, and they have their own specific color temperature numbers. But for most residential homes, I will go with around 3000K. If you want it brighter and more modern, you can get a little bit higher, 3,500 or even 4,000. And if you want the old fashioned incandescent or candlelight type of light, you can go lower, maybe 2,700K. For the natural daylight, when the sky is overcast, it's around 6,500 to 7,000K. And for the daytime, when the sun is high, it's around 5,500. So those are very high numbers and they can be too bright or too white for normal interiors. Unless you have a commercial space or factory, I don't think you need that type of light. For general residential space, I will stay around 3000K or less. And you probably have experience with the old fluorescent light that tend to have some blue tint. And those can be depressing when we use it at home for a long time. Even fluorescent light has different color temperatures. We just have to pick the one that suits our space. Next, we're going to talk about how to set up lighting for your space. For general rules, you should have layers of lighting in any space. That means you have general lighting for the whole space and also specific task lighting 
for certain areas and you can add in other decorative lighting or accent lighting. For general lighting, it can be from the ceiling or the freestanding floor lamp or the light from the wall. That's the base layer. And the next one is the task light. If you have to read, you have to work, you might need a special lighting on the desk or above your work area so you can see clearly when you are working. The next one is decorative lighting. It can be some accent light to light up your artwork or light up the picture on the wall or the candle light or light from a fireplace. When you have several different layers of lights in one space, it gives you more depth and also give you the choices so you can adjust everyone individually when you need to. And don't forget about the dimmer. You can add dimmer in almost every type of light so you can play with intensity of light to set up the best lighting according to your lifestyle. There are some objects that work well with lighting. For example, crystals, either artificial or natural crystals, they can reflect the light. The same with mirror and glasses. When you add light and mirror, glasses or other reflective surface, you magnify the light source and that can change the energy of the room greatly. And the water can go well with lighting too. It can be the fountain or small waterfall or a fish tank. And the fish tank actually acts like a light box. And we usually leave the aquarium light on whole day. So that's another way to increase the lighting energy in your space. If you want to set up a relaxing bedroom, you might want to lower the color temperature so it's on the warmer side, maybe 2700K, and uh, put dimmer on most of the lighting so you can turn it down when you need to. And if you are setting up a public space or a workspace, you might want to go with brighter light and higher color temperature, maybe 3000 or 3500. So you can see what you are doing and you will feel more open and cheerful in that space. Now we can examine our own space. Is one area too dark or too bright? Is there enough light in working areas? Do we want to bring in more light in certain areas to enhance the energy? Maybe add a crystal or mirror and change the color temperature of your light bulb? Maybe you want to add a dimmer or add a curtain for some areas? Those are the steps we can take to improve the energy of the room. Setting up your lighting doesn't have to be very complicated and it can make a big difference in any space, either interior or exterior. Lighting is also an effective feng shui cure. If you just want to enhance certain area, you can always change around the lighting to bring the balance of energy to a space. Thank you for watching this video and talk to you next week.